My maternal grandmother didn't read me children's stories. She read me history books. I taught for 33 years, retired. The Miller School needed a full-time sub. I came over and fell in love with the place. This is my sixth year. Mr. Riddick is just a no-nonsense guy. He says it like it is and gets straight to the point. The man, the myth, the legend. He's goofy, but he gets the point across by still having fun. The senior class is one of the finest groups I've ever had the pleasure to work with. My grandfather only completed the sixth grade, yet he was one of the wisest men I've ever known. He often told me that success depends on how much you put on the loading dock at the factory each week. Understanding the past, the student has a sense of how we got to today, gives them a better understanding of what their choices are for tomorrow. He doesn't hesitate during class, it's full of energy, so informative the way he speaks to us. Whenever you say something good, he says, yes, that's it. <laughs> oh, yes sir. You can nurture enthusiasm, not just in the history classroom, but on the athletic field, in the dormitory, in the library, in the dining hall. This is right after our final game. This is me right here. We were captains of the team that year. This fellow right here is Reese Hentz, the best long stick defender in the state. That was a great group. No matter where your journeys end up taking you, the dilemma is how you will pursue your own desires while enhancing the community. The student that's really well educated is one that's not taught the answers, but taught the questions springboard to more questions. I want them to research. I want them to come to their own conclusions. Students, players, leave the Miller School with self-discipline, fundamental skills, where they can now go on and be successful. As I often told you in class, be kind, leave a footprint, show that you were here and that you made a difference in someone's life. How'd I do? Pretty well. <laughs>